Welcome to Issues in Japan. The topic this time is Aiko wanted to be a kind school teacher, and what is her dream now? What did Aiko think when she saw the photos of her mother Empress Masako as a career woman at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs? I would like to share the article contents of the January 2022 issue of Bengay Shunju. 1. The duties as an adult member of the imperial family. Her official duty as an adult member of the imperial family will begin with the New Year's celebrations in 2022. It is unfortunate that the public visit to the imperial palace has been cancelled. But we will be able to see her appearance on video at the New Year's Japanese Poetry Festival. Aiko has also been putting a lot of effort into preparing the Waka Japanese poetry to be presented. The theme for this year's Japanese poetry reading was Window. Aiko has been familiar with Waka poetry, and experts have high expectations for her first poetry. Since Princess Aiko has shown her exceptional talent in poetry and writing, we are looking forward to seeing what kind of Waka Japanese poetry she will present. Even before she entered kindergarten, she had been very interested in the formation of letters and wrote poems and haiku for fun. As she has grown older, the poetry and haiku she has written have become more and more sophisticated. Much to the surprise of our staff, I believe that Princess Aiko will present poetry with a fresh sensitivity. This is what an imperial household agency source said. It seems that she has learned many things from the Waka poetry and words of her parents, the Emperor and Empress. It seems that Aiko has read the words of the statements of their majesties from time to time, such as on their birthdays, and sensed the hardships that permeate them, said an imperial family source. While working hard for her duties as a member of the imperial family, their majesties also consider it important for Aiko to study at university. And it seems that Aiko has not neglected her studies. 2. What is the current status of Aiko's student life? In October 2020, the number of COVID 19 infected people had temporarily decreased. Aiko was finally able to visit the Mahiro campus of the Gakushuan University, more than half a year after her entrance. She participated in the guidance for new students. Talked with friends she met for the first time, and showed a happy smile. However, this was the only time that Aiko was able to go to the university, and even as a sophomore. She is still unable to go to the campus due to the COVID 19 pandemic. She usually sits in front of her computer in her room at the Imperial Palace and works on reports and assignments every day. For the past two years, she has not gone out of the Imperial Palace for personal purposes and has spent most of her time there researching Japanese history and culture on the internet or in her study. Recently, she has become so absorbed in her studies that even some of the staff members have said that they do not see her in the palace. This is what an Imperial family source said. 3. Aiko's dream is to become a kind schoolteacher. Aiko's interest in history and classics has been high since her elementary school days. Her scholarly nature is inherited from His Majesty the Emperor, and it is said that she takes her time to research anything she does not understand until she is satisfied. It is said that her interest in Japanese classics began when she was in the fourth grade. In a collection of essays entitled, Kozakura, which was compiled just before her graduation, Aiko wrote a four page report on her historical research. The title was, Fujiwara no Mishinaga. He was an aristocrat who wielded power as a regent in the Mid Heian period, 845 to 903. She explained why she chose Mishinaga as her theme as follows. When we were learning about Fujiwara no Mishinaga in class, we briefly touched on the diary written by Fujiwara no Mishinaga. And even before we learned about it in class, I had read an article in the newspaper about the diary written by Fujiwara no Mishinaga, 
being registered as a UNESCO Memory Heritage. So I wanted to see the real thing. So, during my summer vacation, I went to the special exhibition at the Tokyo National Museum and saw the diary, and was amazed at how such an old diary could have survived. So I decided to find out more about Fujiwara no Mishinaga, the author of this diary. When Aiko was a first-year elementary school student, she wrote in an essay that her dream was to become a kind school teacher. Aiko's father, His Majesty the Emperor, also wrote in his elementary school graduation essay entitled, Hello from the 21st Century, that he would become a university teacher. I don't know what Aiko's current dream is. But like the emperor she may find a job that allows her to continue her research on a topic that interests her. 4. Seeing her mother when she was in the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, Aiko said. It's genuinely wonderful. In the case of Princess Aiko, it is conceivable that she could continue her ongoing research after her marriage, even if it is not for the work of the imperial family. For Aiko, her ideal woman is her mother, Empress Misako. Aiko once saw photos of Empress Misako when she was working as a career woman at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs after graduating from university, and Aiko thought her mother, Misako, looked genuinely wonderful. Also, Aiko respects Empress Misako for her continued involvement in society, having seen the work she has done since joining the imperial family. Even though Empress Masako was originally a commoner and Princess Aiko is a member of the imperial family, there is no doubt that Empress Masako's way of life will be taken as a model for Aiko. Despite the differences in their positions. That's all for now. I have shared the article contents of the January 2022 issue of Bengay Shunju. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.